this car looks wild. I always said that I wanted to do some pulls with a hypercar. I never thought it was going to be one of the fastest hypercars ever. What speed you want to start out or whatever? It's back. So yeah, apparently this is 2,000 horsepower, full electric. <laughs> Nuts. I was told that he wants to. He has a Pagani too. Good entry vehicle. If I was to get a hypercar, it's either. I mean, I'd take anyone. Yeah. I was like, hold on a sec. I'll take a lav, a P1. I, I wouldn't really pick and choose. Yeah, yeah. Like hypercar, me, yes. What's the entry level hypercar? I feel like a Senna. Senna. Yeah. Seven six five LT. That doesn't count as a hypercar. Don't don't even start with that. I don't care. You can get expensive. You can you can all carbon body. You can get MSO colors. I still don't think it counts. I feel like that's a good. I mean, it's, it's like it's saying an SVJ is a hypercar. Yeah. Yeah, SVJ is the same thing. It's not a hypercar. But they're both on the line. They're both on the line. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's about the price. It's about like what the vehicle is. Like it has to be special. I mean, well, yeah. they're special, but like all the other hypercars have features beyond. Yeah. Exactly. I'll we'll say that's probably a hypercar. <laughs> yeah. I th I think so too. Most likely. <laughs> Like a 2000 full exposed colored body it looks like it's uh 100 pounds yeah. you know actually the fact that it's an electric it's probably it's is heavy. It's probably heavy what's heavy i bet it's 4, pounds. okay 4000 is not really heavy man for a hypercar that's fat how what's a bugatti He's looking at it. He's looking yeah a bugatti's like 4900 4800 yeah bugatti's are that's heavy it says it goes 310 miles on one charge, that. So it's economical. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's not bad. That's like the Model 3 performance. 2,500 pounds. Alright. Well, bruh. <laughs> bruh, 2,500 <laughs> pounds, full electric. Five Busas? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually ridiculous. It's five Busas and like ten times the horsepower. Uh, Bro, like that aerodynamic, that light and that powerful. Wait, that's almost a one-to-one -one power to weight ratio. It's about two thousand. No, dude, power to weight goes off of kg. Uh, I know, I know. Yeah. So technically, it, let's say pounds, which is a ridiculous. It doesn't have twenty-five hundred horsepower. No. Yeah, two th about two thousand. Let's say. The one-to-one -one that you're thinking of, it doesn't go off horsepower. It's kg. It's yeah. Huge. HR is three thirty horsepower, and it weighs like four fifty. It's almost one-to-one. -one. That makes sense. For, is right. it? Hey <laughs> yo! Hey yo! No, I'm gonna lie. I don't think I'd mess with them in the canyons. Who? Uh. Dude, this one does it too. E maybe. Oh yeah. We'll just follow you guys? Alright, sounds good. <laughs> yeah, bro, why not? <laughs> so, this is a, a Pina Farina or something like that, bro. We are just looking it up. We literally didn't know what it was, by the way. Uh, welcome to the channel, everyone. This uh, took a different turn of events. We started by just going to a chill meet and hanging out here. But... Uh, the hypercar over there, the Pina Farina, that I showed you guys in the past video, uh, wants to race. So, <laughs> I know we're gonna get destroyed probably with this hypercar over there, uh, because 
I'm not a stretch or anything like that. That apparently is an electric hypercar. 2,000 horsepower, about 2,500 pounds, which if you guys don't know, that's insane stats. Apparently it's 1,000 pounds less than the Rimac Nevera, which is currently the fastest car production car. So this car should be faster, an Italian hypercar. So I don't think we stand a chance, but let's see how bad of a gap we're gonna get. This is gonna be wild. looks crazy from the back all right let's see how bad of a gap we're gonna get we didn't even talk nothing we didn't talk like about speed or anything we're just gonna do pulls I don't think it matters to be honest we might say in a little chance if we do like a higher speed pull so we can kind of like take off a little bit but but yeah as I said I don't think it matters because 2,000 horsepower is ridiculous full electric makes it even more ridiculous and the fact that it's a hypercar, full carbon body, and weighing at around 2,500 pounds, that makes it insanely ridiculous. So, as I said, apparently it's one of the fastest cars, if not the fastest car ever right now. And yeah, 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 you guys can make fun of electric cars and all that, but whether you like it or not, they're ridiculously fast. And this one looks really sick with the exposed blue carbon. So... We shall see what's gonna happen. Everyone is filming it, cause I'm not gonna lie, when we pulled in, like in the last video, and maybe I'll put a little snippet in here for you guys, I was like, what is this? What are we looking at? We had to like look at the car to see if it says the name of it somewhere to figure out what it is. This thing looks so wild. It looks so aerodynamic too. <laughs> Every time, like this time, I was like, ah, maybe I should have. Well, realistically, if I want any chance against this, I need the H2R. But I'm not gonna lie. I don't think even the H2R can keep up with that. That is insane stats. Uh, I want. I want to know the power to weight ratio. 2,000 horsepower and 2,500 pounds versus the H2Rs. Let's say like 330 horsepower uh, crank and 450 pounds. Stats wise, it might sound like somewhat, maybe a little close, similar, like a very crazy power to weight ratio, but gotta keep in mind, H2R is not all wheel drive, and it sure ain't electric, electric, so I still have to shift, I still gotta put the power down, this thing probably just puts the power down, it would've been nice if I had E85 in this thing too. I wonder how expensive this thing is, I mean, given the stats and how rare it is and all that, the fact that most people don't even know what it is, this thing has to be obviously in the millions, but I wonder how many millions. I'll put the number in here for you guys, or it might be in, even in the title and thumbnail of the video. <laughs> oh, poor M1000, I think this is going to be the first gap that the M1000 is going to get. that I wanted to do some pulls with a hypercar. I never thought it was going to be one of the fastest hypercars ever. And on my M1000 R in a random car meet night. Do you guys know and what speed you want to start out or whatever? I don't care. Alright. Why? What are you going to do? 50, 60? Uh, I mean, I don't think it matters. I'm pretty sure this bike is not stretched or anything, so it's gonna get the gap. But the higher, the better. So we'll see what happens. <laughs>
I could do better. thousand of a honestly. I did pretty well. I did not expect this bike to do this well against that car. I thought I'm gonna get demolished. Those are pretty good pulls. Uh, Troy's new M1000 R paid off. I kind of was like comfortable with the pulls right from the first one. I think the hypercar got a little bit of a jump. I think the second one got a little bit of a jump, but it was pretty neck to neck for the most part, honestly. Those were some pretty clean, good pulls. Yeah, we finally done it. I want to thank the guys that <laughs> I did a pull with. I've always wanted to race a hypercar, but I never got the chance. This was my first hypercar race, and we didn't do too bad. <laughs> my hands are freezing from the cold because I forgot my gloves, but that was awesome. Hopefully, I'll meet them some other time at some other event. But there you guys have it. M1000 Black could definitely hold up its own, even against one of the fastest cars ever made. I'm going to put some of the stats and pictures of that car since it was dark and, of course, as I said, I probably put some of the clips from the old uh, video that I filmed for you guys and check out that video. I did a more of a walk around and scoped out that car in that video. Long empty road, so that doesn't hurt to do another pull, right? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was very unexpected, but awesome at the same time. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe. We're so close to a mill. So I would really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully we'll do more hypercar type of stuff this year. Peace out, Red